We made it to Ireland. We're back. Second time this year. I know. It seems like it was yesterday. And we're in a Dacia. This is a first for me. We got a manual. We got a TV remote to start. It's raining out. We're going to have a good time. Ready? Let me mute this thing. <laughs> turn on. All right. Turn it on? Turn it on. This is a cool. I don't know. He, never turned it <laughs> he on. said it was keyless start. What? Oh, bro, it's right there. Hell yeah. I don't think I'm offending anyone by saying this. Hands down, worst car I've ever driven in my entire life. Very, very big statement. I've driven some pretty awful cars. This thing, get a Miata or something else instead. It does suck. <laughs> Yo, she thinks we're in the hood. This is her, her bag's gonna get stolen. No, I'm not saying we're in the hood. We're in Ireland. I'm saying you never know, right? We're in Ireland. We'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. We're in, we're in Maynooth. First stop, we're uh, over at Kern Motors. This is where we prepped the car last time for Mondello. Look at this, I love this. On the low brain car, the Ireland mod right here to protect <laughs> the rain. Josh, what's up, good to see you. Good to see you, dude. Who's piloting on this thing this weekend? So Laurie, I'm gonna butcher his name, Heineken. Heineken. He I, I keep on wanting to say Heineken. Laurie Heineken, he uh, just won the European Drift Masters. Uh, Around and um, yeah, he's gonna be piloting this. What, uh, so did he get his engine fixed after the failure? No. Okay, so <laughs> that's probably the reason why he's driving I was gonna say, it's lucky that he is driving this because if you're watching the round, his engine literally failed as he crossed the finish line in a heroic push to the end of the championship, wasn't it? Yep. So you, you were saying this car inspired his car? Yeah, so I only found this out. We're doing an interview with him in uh, Poland, and he was saying, like, because this car's kind of been around for probably about 10 years with, like, this setup and the PS and everything like that. Wow. And um, so, yeah, obviously he saw this and it kind of inspired his build with the NASCAR style engine and the 180 and kind of, I guess, the aggressiveness of it, sort of thing. High revving engine. It's more manly than my last car, anyways, which was a SR20 Miata that I had no luck with. Have you been enjoying it? This car, so you know what? I've only so I've only drove that car and S5 uh, and I've never really drove an S body, and like it's what people say they drive themselves. Like you feel so controlled, it doesn't do anything uncharacteristic. Like it's just unbelievable car. I can actually learn how to drive instead of learning the car, which is the first time I've been saying four years of trying to drive, which is like really good. No, I've seen some of your in car footage. And it looks like you ripped this thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. So Mike hasn't been with us at any of the Driftmasters rounds, so he hasn't seen the E36 since it was all pretty and beautiful over at the compound. Are you getting a reaction? Dude. Yeah, there's a Mike reaction to the, <laughs> the war-torn E36. You gotta look at the other side, dude. This Holy is the pretty crap. side. Crap. It's not that bad. I mean, I've, I've edited all the videos, so like I've seen it, but not, God, not in person. It doesn't look honestly as this bad as it looks before, right? I like this a lot. The patina. This gives me pink. like Barra Mustang vibes. Yep. Just drift form. Shout out John Ludwig, patina princess. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a little, little war torn, dude. But look at this thing packed up. Got my guitar in there. I'm stoked. Fire me up. You and... got your guitar in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Got spare doors. Yeah. Ready to rip. That's a Supra. That is a Supra. Yep. That's turbo. Rocky. Rear mount turbo. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. You're wet, bro. Somebody smell wet dog. What you What are you planning to do about the back of the tire? Back of the tire? Yeah, the so back, the the back, back of the tire. Yeah, the back of the tire. Absolutely. Yeah, if he's back in the tires, he's snorting diesel, you know? Oh, it's it's snorting diesel. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really sucking diesel. It's no Supra. <laughs> yeah, it's faster than a Supra. Yeah. We're going to remove the transmission so we can inspect the clutch and make sure that we don't have to do a clutch at the track so he can just rip the f out of it. There was really bad traffic at the last track on an uphill. 
It was rough, dude. Smoked I, the thing. I definitely smoked the clutch. <laughs> definitely smoked it. It wasn't any of the drifting. It was the it was the uphill for sure. That's what happens when you sit in traffic in sixth gear. Yep. <laughs> I have never seen a more empty rear of a rental car. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that weird? What the? F it's like a pickup truck. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? That Tell me. is so weird. Where's the exhaust? Oh my god, it's a side exhaust. You see it? <laughs> I do, I see the tip. This might be copyrighted. Are you, is this an actual song? Oh god, no. Guitar mats in Ireland. We got a halftime show. Full solo on the stage. Shout out my sugar. I'm excited to drive my E36, but one of the things I'm most excited about at this event are these IS200s that we got. And I'm gonna let Dave help me to explain. What's up, dude? Back to see you again after we've seen each other so much this year. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, this has been a, this is, we've been usually traveling around Europe looking at 1,000 horsepower cars. This is no different, but if you take off the last zero, and another zero, I think, as well. So basically, <laughs> this is the quintessential car for doing donuts and street drifting in Ireland. So this, this is like, you guys would have the IS300, right? Mm -hmm. So the IS200 is a four cylinder version. So if you think there's no power in IS300, come down to 140 horsepower. So what's happened in Ireland is we have a love affair with the A86 and they were like low power, you could go do donuts, you didn't have burning through tires, you were kind of cheap. So this came along in what the 2000s, was like a company car, middle management, like proper, my dad used to have one of these. Mm -hmm. And then they see young guys realize that these have just enough power to do donuts and to do a little bit of drifting in the wet and they're very reliable. So 140 horsepower, they have four cylinder and well the diff. This is the quintessential look by the way. Just the stock so wheels lower. Stock wheels, lowering springs, never put coil overs in it, that's okay. too expensive. Lowering springs and then like a lip kit and a well the diff and we've got a hydro in there and a steering wheel for basically making it a little bit easier to drive. They're funny to me because this is like the entry level to drifting. So a lot of people start in these and then they get up. This is like the new 86 here. Yeah. So they're easily insured as well because when the insurance companies, I'm sure they don't watch this video insurance companies, but a lot of guys are like, oh, it's a, it's a 140 horsepower Lexus. It must be a very sensible young man that's buying this car to go to work. So that's why they could get insured on them. So, and they're not a bad car, like they're reliable. I've seen a lot of these be destroyed and still keep going at the end of the day. So these are what you guys and I, who's driving, will be thrown into for one more time. So. This was kind of the brainchild of us being like, all right, what kind of ridiculous stuff can we do at the next event? And I think it started off like, okay, you know, like the first trip here, I learned about rings and like doing donuts around cones. So I was like, we should do that. And then like, okay, these are the standard ring cars. But what if we tried to drift the full Mandela layout and then we put some of the best drivers in arguably not the worst cars but let's just say one of the most low powered cars to uh i don't know just shake things up a little bit well the biggest i think the funniest thing is that we were thinking like so you got to park your two pro cars up yeah jump in these they're both the same there's yep. a silver and a red one they're both identical so there's no advantage nobody's driven them until the top 24. i've not driven them nobody's driven them so the first thing you're going to see is whatever happens <laughs> which i think is so funny and then also if it's dry there's a big phrase in Ireland, like if it's a really good one, it'll take second in the dry. Yeah. So you might be in first gear trying to get around the track. But we're gonna pump the tires up, so second okay. should be okay. But the other thing about it is you're in a stock seat. So if you're jumping in and we had like a harness and all that, you'd have to adjust the rails and everything. What driver do you think will do the best in these? Dwayne McKeever. Why? I think Dwayne McKeever was conceived in the back of one of really? these. I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dwayne McKeever's been his whole life in an IS200. He, they have days in the north of Ireland where it, 50 of these will go to a big like oval Field? track, a, oh. bit, a big oval track, a bit like a very lower version of what we saw in Poland. Got it. That kind of layout. And it's all wet, purposely. And they do like 25 car trains and these just stock. So he's driven. I'd say there's a good chance if I put Dwayne in one of these instead of his pro car, he'd still probably do pretty well in this. That's so funny. Like, this is his natural <laughs> environment. One GFE? If I'm not mistaken. So it'd be like a... Uh... It's going to say it now and I'll know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's a one GFE. Weird. Yeah, alright. Yes. Johan, you ever seen one of these? You ever seen one of these engines? Looks like a snowblower motor. Yeah, it's a 1GFE, yeah. So this is the... Uh, 1GFE? Is this what's in your oh, car? Same okay. engine? These Same are engine in the, the, the non-turbo... So I thought this was a beams motor. Those cars. So the Alteza, which is the Japanese version, is the 2 liter beams. 
That'd be super fancy. Like you'd be the king of the IS 200s if you have the two liter beams Altezza. But these are roughly selling from about like three thousand euro to six thousand euro. The Altezza would now be up at like thirteen to sixteen. Oh, really? Yeah, they're wow. pretty expensive. Thanks. So this car's life was some old man for the first like eight years of his life, and now it's about to be <laughs> crashed into it by pro drivers in Montana. <laughs> It never, it never saw it coming. Also, your stock seat, so if you go around the corner, you're just gonna fly around the car. Ah, It'll be, be fine. Be right. You won't be going fast enough to build up any G's anyway, so it's, not, <laughs> right. it's, it's fine. Not too bad. Look at the matching fleece. <laughs> Dang, we do match. Look at that vibe. <laughs> He's like, I'm not having it today. <laughs> I don't know what this mood is. But Can we go back to the hotel, please? Yeah. This is his first time like experiencing cold. Yeah, that's exactly why he doesn't like it. No, He's like, like this ain't it. Oh. 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 I just, I just want to talk. <laughs> So you're in Ireland, so we're going on right hand side. So I'm going to bring you back. And that's everything you need to know. But go have fun, skid around, enjoy, and get warmed up because it's going to be a good weekend. What's banana? Banana. Uh, that that's Matt. Matt the Ginge. Ah, is he like? He he is in... he, he is no longer on our team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got. <laughs> yeah. So he's here in spirit. He's here in spirit and, and he'll be here on vacation. So. Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 Banana. Only vacation. He ain't working. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah he complained too much about the alternator being crooked. <laughs> <laughs> All that in the live stream, they were like. Put the camera through here to look at the turbo, I guess. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh, I'm in right America. <laughs> they made it on the live stream once, that's cool. We're getting real technical. Why'd right you here. mark down here? Yeah, I don't know why I marked down there. Mark again. <laughs> that makes no sense. Well, actually, I was getting the measurement now to mark it. You held it? Did it move it? I might. <laughs> Today's practice, just for everyone to kind of get comfortable, make sure their cars work before the big show this weekend. Uh, I'm pretty excited because today I'm going to stick two people in my car that have been asking me to drive it. One, Jimmy, he's been dying to drive one of my E36s, so I'm going to stick him in this thing and we're going to see how he likes it. Uh, and then Chelsea's also going to drive it. So uh, he doesn't have a car over here, but I want him to partake in some of the fantasy battles. So I was like, yo, drive my car, do a couple laps in it today, and it'll be really exciting for me to see what they think. Like all the other runs of the LZ World Tour, all the drivers are going to be on Tire Streets. Tire Streets has all of them set up with Acceler tires and it's gonna make the competition awesome and the fun driving good too because everyone needs to be in the same consistent grip that we all know and love. Uh, it's amazing that Tire Streets has been able to be a massive part of the World Tour this year. I'm insanely appreciative and I know all the drivers are too.
pretty good laps. Took me a little while to get the setup dialed. This is the first time that this car has run on the 100 Treadwear Accelera. Uh, it's sick though, and it's gonna make for some really good battles. That chase on Kevin Quinn's probably my best lap of Modelo ever. So I was like, all right, I'm good. Let's let the other boys drive. Haven't driven this car before, right? Nope. But you've helped me a lot in specking things out. So. Yeah, it should be similar. I'm ready. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, kind of went over everything before he started filming, but he's like, yeah, go as fast as you can up over the hill, then visually figure out where you need to be. I've never driven the track. This is a perfect car to drive first lap, though. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw it in fourth, send it, don't breathe, because you'll understeer, so I'll hold my breath the whole entire time. <laughs> And then uh, downshift to third yeah. for turn two. Use a four to drive out, and then the rest of the track is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, good memory. Right. That was like word for word what I said. Yeah, but there's a little misinterpretation. I said don't breathe, I meant the throttle. Yeah, uh, no, not I'm the hold mouth. my breath the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I would never let a mouth breather drive my car. What's that? <laughs> is that messed up to say? Or is, is it okay to hate mouth no, breathers? It's very funny. Is it? Yeah. All right. Well, well, no, but, out there. So only it's only okay if it, you have like a condition that makes you breathe out of your mouth. Because someone, I think I said this in the video before, and then people were like, "Oh, but some people have to breathe like that because of He's some." He's backpedaling so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> getting comfy. Getting comfy. <laughs> this is the same seat we use in an FD car. Chelsea probably wants it farther back. I tilted took at a forty degree I already angle. I took the seat pad out before I got in it. <laughs> Dude, I sat in your FD car. It's like this. It's all about that center of gravity. You know, some people, they put carbon roofs on their car. Chelsea, he's like, I'm smarter than you. I'll just sit on the floor. <laughs> Chelsea just sits so low, he can't see the car in front of him, so he just pretends he's not there and tries to drive through him. I'm so, dude, I took the seat pad out, and your belts are still too short. <laughs> I'm gonna built, give you some burger Built cake, different. Bro. Built different. Built different. <laughs> yeah. Hey! I'll do my best. That sound weird. Yeah, I hear either a JC or some, what, something that sounds like a rotary, and yeah. then I'm like, wait, that's not a rotary? <laughs> What's that in it? Yeah. It sounds really good. It's sick. Yeah. It's Adam's tapped in. Everybody needs to chase Chelsea in his own car. Oh, yeah. Wait, has Chelsea gone yet? No, not yet. It's starting to rain again. Perfect. He goes to a chase, so that threw me off. Yeah, but, right. I mean, for the most part, it looked like he had a pretty solid lap. Yeah. Many, a, you know, a few corrections here and there, but well, I wish I was. Hard. I wish the first lap was just a solo lap, you know. Yeah. yeah. 
Now that's, that's a bold move. <laughs> Chase on the first ever lap, you could tell every corner, it was like he was figuring it out more and more, and then he was like, oh, right. the last yeah. one. So it was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a little stressful. Okay, so first lap out, I totally got under steer in the first turn. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, even though Adam told me about that, I just didn't get aggressive enough in the chase. My first lap was a chase just because the line was shorter. Uh, but overall, the car feels really, really good. I know I'm good for, I'm ready for a good lap now to try to get a lead. Uh, it took the edge off of it just getting a chase done first, for me at least. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it does in the lead. I do feel the understeer in the first turn, which is interesting, but it's, I think it's just the way the actual track flows that it causes that. All right, now we're gonna chase Shanahan. He was like, you lead. I was like, ah, if I'm gonna drive with you, I don't want to mother your lap, so I'm gonna jump in the lead here, and uh, or chase here, and have another chase. But he's on the sticky boys, and we're on the regular tires. All right, go. <laughs> stickier tire is basically like when you have a tight area where you need to come off handbrake and back on gas yeah. you don't have enough time to get the revs up. My uh I went off in the set following him. I could he hear the rocks. me so hard that like I couldn't see anything going <laughs> into two. It was smoked out and I have no laps yet so I, my timing was so bad. Don't worry I've been in the, I've been in there quite a few times. I only went off a little bit though. I wasn't really bad. Oh I didn't need. Oh, I tell you go deep. I love that. <laughs> good rig? What's that? Solid rig? Yeah it's a great rig. Oh yeah. Yeah, it works well. That works really good. And the car drives just like an E36. This tire like really likes wheel speed on this car. Like it took me a minute to, well obviously I only did a lap and a half, but when I did put the wheel speed down, like there it is. Yeah. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Please let me know what you guys wanna see over the course of the weekend. But of course, if you are in Ireland, you're able to come out, come watch the show. It's amazing. Um, being able to work with the Drift Games guys and put on these LZ World Tour events is a blast. And the action-packed event just keeps getting better and better. There's gonna be a lot of fun stuff. If you can make it out in person, come out in person. If not, you guys know we do a live stream too. So make sure to watch that. But whatever behind the scenes stuff you wanna see, make sure to leave a comment below so I can uh, focus on filming it as we make the video. So thank you guys. It's good to be driving this car again. I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. What's banana? Banana? Uh, that, that's Matt. Ah, is he like, is he no longer on our team? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Matt, 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 Matt,